How'd you feel? Feel this must be what girls go through every month. Good morning guys, I woke up this morning and after listening to my music on my iPod I heard Renoir being sick in the bathroom You never guess what it's from Come on Renoir How'd you feel? This must be what girls go through every month. <laughs> I'm not touching her again. No, but what do you think it was from? But I hate the my addiction. Conk. The conk. Famous. Hmm. Infamous conk. Yeah. After a long period of time without meat follow the craving but I still have the craving made it the body's rejected it what are you drinking? no this potion you conjured up um, Seems to be doing the trick. What did you put in here again? Your ginger? I put ginger because it kills bacteria. I put lime because certain bugs in the stomach hate citrus. Put some salt for the electrolytes, sea salt. And that's purified water, which is great. That's about it. And that's about it for a conch. This me. <laughs> And guys, there you have it. I keep telling people that when you turn vegan and your body adapts to healthy foods, the poisonous foods no longer agree with you because it's like that old scenario or the old example with the frog. If you put it in boiling water and it will jump straight out. But if you heat up the water, the frog will eventually die becoming oblivious to the temperature change. That's because everyone's bodies nowadays have slowly become numb to the poison but when you start to you know step back and digress from the food that you eat and you go healthy for a while and then you have the urge or the craving to eat the foods that you used to eat it's just not going to work your body's going to reject it like Renoir's did with the cracked kunk his kunk addiction has come to a swift abrupt end what should we do today fly me to the moon That's nasty. I hope he's not like that all day. I feel sorry for him. It's a long time to be sick. Well, now we're just heading over to Victoria. I'm gonna call it Victoria Strait. It's got a bigger name than that, but I'm... the name has escaped me right now. But we're going over there to shoot some time lapses for these videos. And then later on, we're also gonna go back to the Hilton Hotel because he's got another gig, which is cool. Okay. Whatever we decide to do in between this journey of today, I'll let you guys know. Yeah. I want to see what spring is like on oh, Jupiter.
be careful seeing as they're not wearing helmets. Yeah. They can do that in the back of me. And she's looking back, she knows she's doing something wrong. Um, do you have anything you, you need to put in the in the booth now? And uh, nah, I'm just gonna bring this camera with me and that's it. And it's everyone else who's waiting here waiting for their car.
came to this lake view, we're hearing gunshot rounds. This floor is littered with them. I'll show you actually. Here we go. It's a bit rusty. They won't shoot us by accident, will they? Okay, well, I've got two bars left on this battery and I want to save it for the airport, so... Right. Yeah, I ain't got much battery at all, but I should still be able to do it. No. I'll just record. You want me to hold it? Or I, should, I, I can't yeah. take this thing off of my just record head. record The people are going to be seeing me. It's fine, I might not even put this online. It depends how this goes. Um, okay. i got to remind myself now that I'm not influencing it because I want it to go a certain way, which is a problem. So i got to kind of... Yeah, sure. I'll just explain everything I just said. So, okay, so what I was saying to Renoir, can you see it? Let's do that, you can see the screen, see? Mm. Is that uh, every point of space already exists right now, and when you astral travel, you're able to see things that have already happened. So when you do like the coin toss, or you're, you're throwing the dice, you're not trying to create a reality. In and of itself, you're not trying to influence the dice in any way, shape, or form. You're actually just trying to see what it lands on already, and that's more than enough to know what it's going to land on. So what we're doing here is we've got five coins, all, all uh, Canadian, and it's got a heads on there. And I'm going to throw them, and we're looking forward in time. No, not forwards. Sideways, technically. Because when you move sideways in time, you see probable realities and sometimes it can shift inside your head. But the majority of the time, you're able to see what it's most likely going to land on, the probability. Now, if I get four of these right, technically that should be impossible. And I've already done that earlier, I did it. And then I did another two throws and I got it right, spot on. But we're going to try and do it now and I'm going to see if I can see still what it's going to land on. And I just got an image of all tails, which is kind of strange. Okay, now it's changed again. So if I try to look forwards, I see three heads and two tails. So we got, okay, yeah, heads, heads, and three tails. Technically, again, that should be impossible because this one of itself, in and of itself, that, that, that shouldn't have happened. The, the likelihood of getting two heads instead of three is pretty unlikely so if we can do it again see what happens you can't create because it influences everything you have to see how it is two tails four tails one head oh look here it happened yeah you got it one tails one tail, one tail, one tail, one head. You got it. You got it. Awesome. Now apparently that's impossible. That shouldn't happen. Like at all. But it happens. Mm -hmm. Because you're not trying to influence what's there. But you're actually seeing what's there in the future. So you're seeing, like I said, four tails, one head. Now remember the last the last two times where it was just one coin off apparently that isn't even possible So this is suggesting that you can see the future But you're not actually influencing the future. So when you see people at casinos doing it with the dice They're not influencing it like you see on the movies. They always say that in the movies, but um Yeah, let's You got it So you'll always see that on the movies you'll see people or you'll see the director demonstrating them moving the die to make it like six, six, six or their numbers. But really what happens in real life is these people are able to mentally, consciously travel to the future and see what it is before it happens. 
and then just tell them what it's going to be. So, I think our experiment might work in the future with what we're talking about. Try it again, one more time. I notice as I'm turning like this, I can feel the future and past. When I said, shall we try one more time? That feels like a pull, like in the, in the, in the opposite direction of time. Do you get what I mean? So I notice that when I'm moving like this, and I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating the future events, that feels like a, a pull to the future and I can use that to guide my awareness to where the draw should be. So now I'm thinking one heads, four tails, and now it's shifted again. To three heads, two tails. Heads, 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 two tails. See, and that was the second time around. That shouldn't happen. Is it in focus? You see it, right? Three mm -hmm. heads, two tails. So these are not trick coins or anything like that. You can do zoom as well, by the way. Let's see. Like that. <laughs> can you see it? Yeah? So I said three heads, two tails. These are the two tails. The three heads. The last time I just did this, it landed all five coins on the exact same permission as I, as I said it would. So this this just proves my point. You don't influence the coins or the die. You just see. You, you travel astrally into the future, and then, then you come back. Is it? There we go. Mm -hmm. Got it. So tails, tails, and three heads. Awesome. Gosh.